start off with four weeks of paid vacation. American workers are lucky to get one now. I mean, why, why don't we have benefits like they do maternity leave, like European countries have? So much of American, the OEC, there was a report about the 31 OECD countries. And the United States, in terms of standard of living and in terms of quality of life, the United States came in between 27th and 31 of all these countries. So we have this myth that we've got this greatest health care system, all these benefits, a great standard of living. The reality is that, that the situation in the United States compared to other countries is really pretty dismal, and that's because we don't have a strong labor movement in the United States. segment on Reagan uh, in the series and you just basically just show the bodies in El Salvador and Guatemala and you mentioned General Rios Montt who's just been charged uh, and yet in the corporate press here in the United States there's no connection with Reagan. Even though you have Reagan saying that he's gotten a bum rap and he's one of the most decent men he's ever met. Why was it important for you to take on Reagan? For me, uh, the whole country, uh, it's interesting now we see 32 years of, since Reagan came to office, and I do see it as the rise of the right. I'm, I'm stunned because in our lifetime that we would go repeat this Vietnam syndrome so readily. Uh, and it's interesting how Reagan extolled uh, the Vietnam War, saying that it was we should not feel guilty about it. We should be proud. And uh, repeated this. Uh, the Vietnam syndrome is over. He attacked a bunch of construction workers in Cuba. It was a completely... Uh, Botched, uh, botched military. Uh, your name is your name. What I said. Cuba. Cuba. Uh, uh, sorry. Yeah. And uh, he called it a uh, great victory, and the Vietnam syndrome was buried. And the uh, the he, since Reagan, it's not been the same. Uh, it's been redux, and all of those positions, the hardline positions, have worked. They're, they seem to be the dominant issue. The, the project of the New American Century, uh, 1997, uh, Article 8, becomes the dominant, actually the unvoted document that determines our military policy, our foreign policy. And you also, you saw the, you, you have Carter just kind of merging with Reagan at the end. And, and Clinton, and Clinton too, merges yeah, into the this. Uh, and Obama praised Reagan when he was running. Yes, yes, but Carter was such a disappointment because he gets off to a good start. I mean, Carter was chosen by the Trilateral Commission folks uh, because they thought he was pretty ignorant and pliable. And the main person who targeted, picked him, picked him out, was Vigny and Brzezinski. And then he thinks he's going to be able to tutor him and get him to do his policy. But Carter started off pretty well. And he brought in people like Paul Warnke and other people who were progressive. And his own instincts were progressive. But if you look at the last two years of the Carter administration, he's setting the stage for Reagan. He's, he's legitimizing what Reagan would do later in a much more extreme way. And one of those situations is Afghanistan. You know, the, Carter was the one who began the effort in Afghanistan, and Brzezinski says, we laid a trap for the Soviets. He says, we've given them their own Vietnam. And he knew by, by attacking the, the Soviet-friendly government in Afghanistan that the Soviets would have to intervene there. And he was glad that they did. And then what do we do? We start to, to support and to train and to arm the crazies there. And the reason why those people hated the pro-Soviet government was because the pro-Soviet government was educating women. They were giving women rights. And the people we were supporting, the Mujahideen, were the ones who were actually skinning teachers alive if they would teach women in their classes and girls in their classes. And so we get involved in Afghanistan in a way that, as we say, it show blows back on us with Osama bin Laden later. Well, you have that great quote from Brzezinski where he says, what's a few crazed Muslims in comparison to the fall of the Soviet Empire? Yeah. Well, it doesn't seem like such a smart comment after 9-11. He still defends it. He still defends it. So on the ride up, uh, I went down to Chicago to pick Peter and Oliver up uh, today. And I was with Paul Buell. I want to thank Paul Buell for setting this whole thing up.